guys, so um, I'm gonna do my empties today and I have been saving this trash for a while since I moved. Um, I actually like packed it when I moved just so I could film this video for you guys. So I have a lot to talk about and I'm gonna try not make this video super super long. I'm gonna try to just get through it quickly. And for anybody out there that hasn't seen an empties video or like trash video, it's basically just where you go through products that you've used up and you talk about them and say if you repurchased them or not and how you like them or didn't like them. Also, quick side note, I did dye my hair. It is kind of brown now. Um, yeah, it was just the blonde was really, really damaging it, and so I'm trying to get it back to being healthy, and I'm trying to grow it longer, so we're back to brown. Okay, so I'm just gonna jump in. Um, this is the Olay Essential Oils um, Jojoba, that's how you say that, right? Extract um, Body Wash, and yeah, it was good. It smells really good. Um, if you like lavender, you like it, that's what it smells like to me, and it's good. So yeah, I don't know if I'll repurchase it, um, just because I like to kind of try different body washes out but it was good uh, this is the summer's eve cleansing wash for sensitive skin if you're a girl you probably know what this is um, and I'm assuming most of the people watching are girls uh, yeah so I went through this and yeah I like it I repurchase this stuff all the time I don't really have a particular scent that I prefer they have a few different ones but um, this one is good so yeah it's just the pink one I don't really know if it's has a name on it, it just doesn't it just is just the pink one. This is the L'Oreal Ever Pure Sulfate Free uh, Moisture Deep Restore Mask. I really do like this stuff. I hope the lighting isn't like weird. I feel I tried to film this one time and the lighting there was like it was coming through my blinds and it just looked really weird. So I'm refilming this. Um, so yeah, this is the restorative mask. I got this on sale at Walmart for like four dollars. It's really the smell is so strong. <laughs> like it's actually making me cough a little bit right now. Um, the smell is really strong, but it is a really good mask. Uh, I do like it, and I don't know since it was on sale if that means it's discontinu discontinued or not. But if it isn't, um, I just think up. If it isn't, then I would definitely repurchase this because I did like it a lot. I have a few of these. These are the um, eye makeup removers from Target. I use these all the time. I have one right now that I'm using. I mean, I purchased these nonstop because they're my favorite. So I will obviously continue to repurchase them. They're awesome, and they're really, really cheap. And they're just really good for taking your eye makeup off. Um, I have a toothpaste. This is the 3D Crest White. This is basically what I use. Sometimes I'll switch it up, but usually I stick to this kind. I like it a lot. This is the Skintimate um, Moisture Shaving Gel. I do like this. I repurchased it. I think I got like a different scent. I think I got like strawberry or something. Um, and yeah, it's good. This is the Degree Protection Deodorant for men. I do use men's deodorants. Um, oh no, the lighting's doing the thing. <laughs> um, I'm gonna scoot over a little bit, maybe that'll help. So yeah, this is good, good deodorant. I'm gonna continue to repurchase it, I already have. I like the Suave one too for men, that one's good. Okay, this is the It's a Tin Mask, and I really do like these. Um, however, I have this one in here as well, which is the Macadamia Natural Oil Repair Mask, and I actually prefer this one more. Um, they're around the same price and I just think this one is definitely better. If you're gonna get one, I'd get this one. Um, but this one's good too. I just prefer that one. And I'm running out of room to put these things. Okay, this is another hair mask. This is the Smooth Sexy Hair Smooth Extender with Coconut Oil. I really, really like this. I got this on sale at Ulta for like $10 and it's just really, really good. Um, I don't know, it's probably like back to regular price now. I think that was just like a one-time thing, but it's really good. I would probably pay full price for it just because I love it that much. It smells really good. It smells like coconuts and it's just good. I like it a lot. Okay, I have some mascaras here. Let's see, I think I just have, yeah, I have four. Okay, so I have two of the Maybelline Pump Up Colossal. I do like these. I think I like the regular Colossal a little bit more, but this is good as well. Um, I have the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I really, really like this stuff, but it's so expensive, so um, I probably will repurchase it eventually, just not right now, um, but it is good. It's a really good mascara. If you're looking for a high-end, good mascara, I would definitely try this one because it's really good. The um, Voluminous Miss Magna, I think this is by L'Oreal Mascara, didn't really care for this one so much. I've heard comparisons that this is a dupe for the Better Than Sex Mascara, and I just don't really think it is. Um, I'll show you guys the brushes side by side, and you can kind of decide for yourself. Uh, I just, I don't know. The brushes are different, like completely different. This one's tapered. This one's, you know, 
I don't even know how to describe this brush, honestly. Um, but this is just better, I think. The Too Faced is so much better. And I like the brush in the Too Faced a lot more. I don't really care for the taper brushes. I don't know. And this one also is like... The wiggly. The wiggly kind that's supposed to be amazing. Okay. Um, I have the BB Garnier Skin Renew uh, Cream in Light to Medium. I already repurchased this. I really, really like this stuff. It's really good. This is for the combination of oily skin one. I don't really have oily skin, but I've heard that this is the better one out of the two. And um, yeah, it's good. I use this basically every day for work, and I really like it. I have the Clean and Clear Night Relaxing All-in-One Cleansing Wipes. Um, I'm not really picky when it comes to makeup remover wipes, so I didn't repurchase these, but they are good, and I would probably eventually. Uh, this is the Clean Clear Continuous Control Acne Cleanser. I have gone through, I don't even know how many of these. I've been using this cleanser for years. It's my absolute favorite because it has benzoyl peroxide in it, which is really good for fighting acne. And I just like benzoyl peroxide more than silic acid. So I really like this stuff. And yeah, I've been using it forever. And it's really good. It's pretty cheap too, because you can obviously get it at the drugstore. Okay, this is a product I didn't finish because I think it started to break me out. I think I actually mentioned this in a favorites video. It's the Garnier Clean Nourishing Cleansing Oil. And at the time, I did really like it. It does do an awesome job at removing all of your makeup. However, I do think that it was breaking me out because I just was starting to get like little tiny bumps all over the place. And I mean, I am somebody that has really sensitive skin and I break out kind of normally anyways just because of like hormones and stuff. But I think that this was making me break out even more. So um, I stopped using it. You can see I use a lot of it though. Um, but I stopped using it for that reason. So probably going to throw it out. Okay, this is the blonde um, Paul Mitchell Forever Blonde Dramatic Repair. I really like this stuff. It's expensive, but it's a great leave-in conditioner for blonde hair. Obviously, I'm not blonde anymore, so I probably won't re be repurchasing this for a while. Um, but it's a really good leave-in conditioner if you are blonde. So, Okay, this is the L'Oreal Boosted High Lift Creation Spray. This is another product that I did not finish. It's like completely full. I just really didn't like this stuff. It's basically kind of like one of those products that's supposed to look like you cheesed your hair and to me it just made my hair really crunchy and just not attractive looking. I was just kind of spraying it like all over and like fluffing it up and it just made my hair like really crunchy and I kind of like my hair to look more like soft and like you know you can run your fingers through it so didn't really care for this um, and obviously I'm not going to repurchase it. Okay this is the L'Oreal Sublime Bronze Tinted Self Tanning Mousse. I love this stuff. I literally have like five on backup because they were on sale at Target so I picked up a bunch. Um, this is my favorite. I have a video talking about my favorite self tanners. I will link down below if you're interested. This is really good. I will give you guys a disclaimer and say that if you get wet, it will wash off. Um, I don't really, I wouldn't really call this like a self tanner. It's kind of more like a self bronzer because it doesn't stay put very long. Um, however, I don't really mind that because I find that I like am really like prone to streaking and stuff when I put on self tanner so I like this because it's very like you can move it around like once you put it on if you've noticed that there's a streak or something like hours later you can just take a little bit of lotion and rub it in that spot and it'll just completely smooth it out so I don't like I don't mind that it doesn't it doesn't like really transform your clothes um and it stays put like as long as you're not getting wet so um yeah I really like this stuff I know some people might not like that but I think it's really good and obviously I have a bunch in backup I have so much stuff on my table right now. Okay, this is the L'Oreal Volume Filler um, Concentrate. It gave you like three little tubes and you're supposed to like mix it in with your shampoo to make your hair like extra volumized. I didn't really see any results to this, but stuff is kind of expensive too. I believe it was like $10-ish and I just didn't really see that amazing result. So probably not going to be repurchasing this. I do like the shampoo and conditioner though by them. Um, that's really good. Okay, I have the Victoria's Secret Self Tanning Spray. Really, really like this stuff. Um, it's really good. This is one that will stay on you for a few days, and it's good. It's kind of expensive. I think it's like, yeah, it's 15, and you only get 3.72 ounces. So you don't get very much compared to other self tanners, but it is good if you're looking for it, and Victoria's Secret has those sales. So. This is the Batiste Dry Shampoo for Dark Deep Brown Hair. I like Batiste Dry Shampoos. I have one already right now that I'm using, and yeah, it's good. I repurchased um, just the regular one, and I find that the regular ones compared to the deep brown ones or whatever, kind of, I don't know, they blend in as long as you rub it in. It's not a big deal, so. 
Okay, this is the It's a Tin Miracle Leave-In Plus Keratin. I really like this stuff. It's a great leave-in conditioner. Don't know if I'll repurchase it anytime soon because it, ex it is kind of expensive, but um, eventually I probably will. It's really good. This is the Pink Lost in Love Tinted Self Tanning Gel. This stuff is like such a gimmick to me because literally it does nothing for you. If you see it, like it looks really dark, but it literally just does nothing. It rubs in and does absolutely nothing. So this is really a weird product to me because um, I don't understand how they could say it's a self tanner. Like it's not a self tanner at all. It does nothing for you. So this thing is completely full and I'm obviously not going to be repurchasing it. I have the It's a Balm or The Balm Sexy Mama Anti-Shine Translucent Powder. Got this off Outlook. I really, really love this stuff. Um, I just went through it really fast. So yeah, I might repurchase it again if the bomb comes on hot look soon or outlook um, because I did really like it, but it, I did feel like I went through it really fast. I have a The Professional by Benefit. Love this stuff. Already have a backup. Really, really good primer. It's been talked about a million times by like everybody, I feel like. I have three of these NYX concealers, uh, the HD concealers. I really like these. I do feel like that they go. I go through them really fast. Um, but they are really good. They're great for under your eyes. They're great for blemishes. They're just all around like awesome concealers. So I like them and they're pretty affordable. This is the L'Oreal Linea Intense Liquid Eyeliner. Um, I do like this. I will probably repurchase it right now. I'm using the Stiletto one, but they're basically the same thing. This is the L'Oreal Super Slim Liquid Eyeliner. I do really like this. Um, however, the cap doesn't stay on very well. Like it doesn't click at all. So I'm not really sure how I feel about that. I just feel like it dried out kind of quickly because of it. So. I don't know. It is a good eyeliner, though. It's just that's one of the main problems with it. This is the Benefit Gimme Brow. I really like this stuff. This is the light brown one, I think. Yeah, light to medium. Really good stuff. This is great if you have kind of defined brows already that are dark and you just kind of want to, like, put them in place and just kind of give them some volume. This stuff's really good for that, so I might repurchase this eventually. It's kind of expensive for what it is, but I do think it's a good um, product. And then I just have a couple nail polishes. Uh, this is the Sally Hansen Pacific Blue Nail Polish. It's completely dried out, uh, but I love this. I think I've already repurchased it. Um, it's just a great color. And then this is the Revlon Top Coat, which is good. It's also dried out and there wasn't much left, but um, both good nail polishes. like them a lot. And yeah, that was basically all of my trash. <laughs> I hope this wasn't like a super long video. I think it's like a little bit under 15 minutes, which is kind of a lot, but... Um, yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. Um, leave me any requests you guys have down below for new videos, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.